You know, we're demonstrating now in university trials the healing potential to deal with certain kinds of mental illness like depression, anxiety, obsession, addiction. And I think that's all very exciting. There's still a lot of work to be done. But I think it would be a shame if we completely medicalized these substances and lost track of what one researcher memorably described to me as the betterment of well people. Um, that, you know, yes, there are people who have diagnosable pathologies like depression, but we all have depression sometimes. We all have addiction sometimes, addictive behaviors in our lives. Um, we all get obsessive. I mean, we all have kind of dilute versions of those things. It's, it's a spectrum and that um, in my own experience, uh, you know, psychedelics is a very good tool for breaking out of habitual ways of experiencing life. Um, these kind of rote responses we have to whatever happens to us, uh, we're all stuck in certain grooves and I think part of the power of the drugs is that they can shake us out of those grooves and, um, and allow us to create some new paths. Um, so, I don't think there's a danger that the doctors will get a hold of it and then no one else will. I, I think that they'll still be available underground. Um, it would be great if it were legally possible for people to have guided psilocybin experiences or LSD experiences, uh, and that could well happen. I mean, once doctors can prescribe it, they can prescribe it off-label. I mean, who's to say there won't someday be a mental health spa? operated perhaps by the Psychedelic Society with a doctor employed to write the prescriptions and screen everybody really carefully and prepare everybody really carefully. The advantage, the disadvantage of a prohibition of something is you can't regulate it. it er, anything goes beneath that prohibition. Whereas if you, if you move toward a legalization of some kind, you can set in place the kind of controls and regulations that you need to make optimal use. Um, I don't believe in a kind of straight out legalization like we're seeing with cannabis. Anybody over 18 can have access. I think, these, I think these substances are too powerful. And the lesson of the traditional societies that have used them, that we should have paid more attention to in the 60s, is that there's always an elder or guide or someone who knows the territory, that people don't take them carelessly. They take them for, for carefully articulated purposes at certain times that there's always some ritual or ceremony around it. There's a, can there's a cultural container. We don't know what that appropriate container is for our culture. There's the medical container, but there needs to be another one too. And that's very important work that needs to be done.